Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Hey, tonight I'm going to do something I've already done here. Um, I'm going to make Swiss steak again. Uh, this is incredibly easy, incredibly inexpensive, and incredibly good, most important of all. Um, so I'm going to start off with about two pounds of um, cubed round steak that I've seasoned with kosher salt and black pepper. And I'm going to pan fry this just for a couple minutes on each side just to get a little bit of color, not really to fully cook it. Just pans here on each side for a couple minutes. All right, after about two minutes, we're going to go ahead and give this a turn. Let it go for about two more minutes. All right, the first batch is about browned up, so what we're going to do is just stack this up over here and add in the rest of them. This isn't some dirtying up another plate or pan or anything here. Stack them up, put the rest of them on here. All right, the cube steaks are browned up enough. We're gonna go ahead and stack these up over here. You guys know me, I'm like kind of a one pan kind of guy. I don't like to dirty up anything unless I really need to. So what I'm gonna do now is just make this into a two way skillet. And we're gonna add in one whole white onion, large white onion. Two green bell peppers. If you want to use colored ones, go ahead. I like those, but they're a lot more expensive. And about 12 ounces of mushrooms. I'm just going to let these saute on this side a little bit. Don't worry about the meat being on the other side. The stuff is on the bottom over cooking. This is going to braise down for a little while. Now I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of garlic. If you notice, I haven't added any salt and pepper to this, and I'm, I'm not going to have, until after we get our, our braising liquid done. Um, the meat's got a lot of salt and pepper on it, so it should be more than enough for the sauce. All right, so now the vegetables have cooked about halfway down. You know, I don't want them to lose their integrity yet because they're going to braise for a while. So we're going to just cook them until they start to, um, you know, as you can tell, they reduce down by about 50%. So now what I'm going to do is. <clears throat> Spread the meat around and layer it with them and make the vegetables basically a bed and we'll, we'll start around throughout the course of this cook. Uh, so we're just gonna get this over here. And now we're gonna add in one cup of beef broth, two cups of diced tomatoes, and about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. What we're gonna do is just cover this up, you know, basically like this. And we'll stir it up here in about 20 minutes. But what I'm gonna do now is put the lid on it and let it simmer. Like I said, for about 20 minutes, we'll come back and we'll give it a stir and then let it cook for about another hour after that. Now, right, here we are at the 20 minute mark. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stir everything up and get the vegetables all distributed here. All right, we're gonna let it cook down for another 45 minutes or so and we'll be ready to eat. All right, our Swiss steak is done. It's ten everything's tender, so I'm gonna go ahead and thicken up the um, the broth with a um, little bit of water and um, cornstarch slurry here. I'll stir this in and bring it up to a simmer before and let it thicken up and mash our potatoes up, and we'll be ready to eat. All right, everything is tender now. The gravy is thickened, as you can tell here, and it smells really good in here. So we're gonna go ahead and serve this up over some homemade mashed potatoes. All right there our Swiss steak is done and we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste here. It's over top of some garlic mashed potatoes that we made. All right so we're gonna go ahead and give this a cut here. All right. Oop, there we go. 
See how that is. Mmm. This is probably one of the best dishes I've made. The flavor from the mushrooms, the onions. Oh, man. One more bite here. Tender, fork tender. See that? A little bit of potatoes here. Mmm. You guys got to try this. This is the second time I made this. First time it was great. This time it's spectacular. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time.